Welcome to this screencast and in this screencast I want to show you how you can install the newly freshly released Debian K FreeBSD on your system. So if you don't know it already Debian Hooray has released its, its 6.0 its squeeze release. This is how the code name of this new release is called. And you can get um, very different um, distribution formats uh, of Debian. First of all, for all the complete architecture that Debian supports, like the Armel or ARM, PowerPC, Sparks, uh, and x86 uh, and x64. And you can also get one new release. This is now official. Um, the K free BSD release. So you can get them either by BitTorrent or HTTP FTP. And the K free BSD uh, E uh, or I386 uh, is the one that I downloaded. And I want to show you how to install this um, free BSD release of Debian on a virtual machine. In this case I'm using a virtual box. And yeah, I need to load um, the CD. I downloaded the CD version, so free CDs. And I need to choose to see the first CD, the install CD. I will click on start and oh I forgot to execute the VBOX uh, driver or well, didn't start it up. Normally it should be doing this automatically. So now let's start up. Hit F12, boot from CD and we can change uh, or we can choose Default install, automated install, expert install, or boot from first hard disk. I would choose default install here. And this will load up the default installation uh, for, and as you can see here, it's loading up not the Linux kernel but the FreeBSD kernel. And then it's loading up the, the basic Debian installer. And as you can see, you get all the comfort of a Debian system but with a FreeBSD kernel. And this is, of course, uh, in this case the Debian installer and yeah I will choose the English language here but as in country I would choose another country because I'm sitting here in Germany right now I will choose Germany and I will choose um, yeah the local setting is correct now it's scanning the CD for the basic um, packages that it needs for installing the system. And it's loading also the partition manager. As you know it from Debian, uh, it's also having Partman as a partition manager, which is very, very comfortable in, in uh, adjusting your partitions. So let me choose a um, hostname here, k3bsd, okay, domain name, leave it as is, and you need a password for the root. Uh, so let me enter a password here. I need to re-enter it, full username, and it it's automatically creating a username for me and a password again re-entering it and then it will start with the partitioning I will choose the guided uh, to use the entire disk as I'm running from a fresh um, virtual box image here you can see I gave the partition about 4.3 gigabytes and it will automatically create um, um, a partition label I can choose to uh, separate the home partition from my um, for my personal settings and 
uh, the root partition uh, or can choose all files in one partition so there will be only one root partition or can choose to separate home um, user var and temp and I want to uh, have a separate home partition I will choose this here it's now computi computing the new partitions and here you can see the partition table as you can see it's creating a primary UFS partition for root and we create a um, 2.5 gigabyte home partition um, but uh, as I don't have too much I can undo this here and go back to the guided partition and I will use in this case then the full all files in one partition which works better for the space that I have on my hard disk. So it will create also a uh, swap partition. Automatically I think this is good and then it will start installing. And it will start installing as I'm uh, running here from the Debian uh, GNOME version basically. There's a KDE version separately that you can download if you want to have the KDE uh, desktop. It's I think KDE 4.4.5 that you get here. And I'm installing the GNOME version as I'm running KDE not right now. I want to try something new. And yeah, then basically the installation process begins. and it's so far a normal Debian installation but the only thing that I noticed is that when booting up it's a different kernel that's booting up and this is the only thing that I noticed so far so let's wait until the system, the base system uh, gets installed and then I uh, will be back with my uh, little screencast here so after the basic installation is done it will tell me that uh, my primary uh, CD that I'm using here is labeled this and this and it wants uh, me to insert uh, other CDs if I have some to um, make those packages on those CDs uh, which are available to uh, opt so making these packages on the CDs available for opt so scan another CD or DVD I will say yes here but first of all I will insert uh, the other CD image so in this case CD2 you can see it's now inserted I can click here yes and it found the CD2 scan another CD or DVD yes I want the third CD as well it's now inserted and click yes again and it found the third CD I don't have any CDs any longer so I will choose no here please insert the label blah 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 binary 1 so I need to insert the CD1 so you can avoid this CD um, crackling or CD one CD put one CD in then the second CD and then the first CD again by downloading the DVD image I just tried it with the CD images because they normally are fast in downloading. So do I want to use a network mirror? This is very important if you are not located in the USA or are not located uh, in the same location where you uh, or what you have chosen in the setup. Um, I want to choose a network mirror here and as you can see it automatically figured out because I have chosen my region to be Germany uh, to find a, a German uh, Debian archive mirror click on here and I can now choose from between the various different um, German um, uh, mirrors and I think the ftp2.de is a fast one I don't have a proxy so I will continue here without entering anything. It will then start downloading also or uh, updating the package list of apt from the internet and also of uh, course from the CD to get some of the packages that are already packaged on uh, the CD, on the uh, CD re repository also and then it will start upgrading software which is 
basically out of date um, and you can see there are only a few files that it needs to update and now we have the next question do we want to p participate in the package uh, usage survey uh, normally I would say no because this is uh, this won't be a normal uh, system that will run regularly so I will choose no here so this package survey is only necessary or is only important if you want to share the packages that, that you have installed so that um, Debian can make a list of the popular packages so now I can choose what to install basically so stand standard system tools is uh, available here I want to have an SSH server and I don't want a web server or print server uh, perhaps I want a print server no I don't want a print server I want a graphical desktop environment and this will normally choose then in this case GNOME to install and yeah this is basically everything that I want don't want a mail server or an SQL database so I could continue here and then it begins running task cell and this will take a little while to download or to um, yeah, basically copy over the packages from CD and also from internet and then installing all the uh, graphical um, desktop packages and so on so the graphical system is now being installed and this will take some time and I will pause this video and make a second part then uh, which shows the first steps on Debian K FreeBSD. So thanks for watching and until the next time.